In this video, we're going to go over the build for a dining table with a hidden recessed gaming area that was designed by my brother-in-law. The whole thing was made with construction grade lumber from our local home store. We started with the skirt. After cutting 2x4s to the correct length, we used pocket screws to hold them together. The 4x4s that we used for legs needed a special cut to allow for the angled braces connecting the inside edges of the skirt. We needed to cut out a 45 degree angle section that was the same depth as the angled support. To achieve this cut, I made a quick and simple jig with a couple of pieces of scrap that had a 45 degree angle already in place from another project. I rested the 4x4 on the jig and raised the blade of my radial arm saw to cut the correct depth. Then I made multiple passes to rough out the cut section. I broke the remaining pieces off and cleaned with the surface with a chisel. I set my blade to 45 degrees to make a beveled cut for the angled supports for the skirt. We set them in place and tested them with the legs to make sure everything fit, and then we screw them in. The tabletop had two handles that needed to be recessed so they would lay flush with the surface. We made a small template of the handles, traced it on the tabletop, and routed it out. We made the removable portion of the tabletop with 1x12s and joined them with pocket screws. Once the tabletop was put together, we flipped it over and mounted the handles. The breadboard ends and sides were held to the table's frame with more pocket screws. At this point, my camera stopped recording. We finished it up by nailing in supports along each side for the tabletop to rest on so it was flush with the other breadboard ends and sides. We screwed in the legs by drilling straight through the angled supports into the legs with three and a half inch screws. My brother-in-law wanted to handle the finishing, so this is how it left my shop. After sanding, he added a couple coats of stain and three coats of polyurethane. He also added some rubber matting on all surfaces of the hidden recessed gaming area and then covered that with some decorative green fabric. brother-in-law did an amazing job finishing this thing up and I couldn't be more excited to have been a part of this project. If you have any questions about it, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for many more projects just like this one. Thanks.